8 сентября в Ванкувере прошел матч Кубка Канады 1984 года. В том матче встречались сборные Швеции и Канады. Шведская сборная подошла к этому матчу, имея 0 в графе побед, проиграв сборные США и СССР. И для того, чтобы скандинавской сборной выходить в полуфинал, им, конечно же, было просто необходимо набирать очки в следующих матчах. Канадцы в своем первом матче не оставили шансов сборной ФРГ, обыграв их 7-2. А вот во втором матче довольно неожиданно сыграли в ничью с американцами 4-4. На матч против шведов место в воротах занял голкипер Бостона Пит Питерс, вместо получившего повреждения Гранта Фюра. Но несмотря на это, в составе кленовых листьев было обилие звезд мирового масштаба, таких как Грецкий, Месье, Босси и Кофи.
ahead. He passed for Bossy, kicks it free. Here he comes down over the line now. Bossy with a great shot. There. He can put him away. He takes a look right between the legs of Lindmark. That's why he scored 50 goals seven seasons in a row. When he gets around there, he knows how to put it in. Ahead for Sundstrom. This is Patrick Sundstrom of the Vancouver Canucks. Drops it back for Peter Anderson. He's over the line. Brodeen. Brodeen to Anderson. Anderson to Eldebrink. Back to Anderson. Anderson. Eldebrink wasting time here. Eldebrink, Anderson. This will drive a coach crazy. The two man advantage and no shots. Back out for Anderson. Anderson set the shot scores. Right along the ice. I don't think Peter saw it until the last instant. It looked to me like Peter might have misjudged it a little bit. There's the forward, Team Canada forward. Might have screened him. Right between Peter's legs. Didn't look like he was screened, did he, Darrell? No. He just maybe got a little flat-footed. Gustafsson now brings it out. And center ice along with Naslin. Here's his shot. It's knocked down. Loose it, but hit the post. Great chance there. And it was Hawkinson who hit the post. Sweden trying to get loose. Working in there is Sandstrom. Out in front now. Here's a chance for Sweden. And he's hauled down. There's going to be a penalty. And it's scored on the play. There was a penalty being called, and Sweden scored. And I believe that was young Thomas Sundstrom, who got it at the side of the net. There's Eklund all, in front, all alone in front. He is pulled down. Pete Peters lying flat on his back. Sandstrom just stuck it upstairs there. Well, Sundstrom. Family play here in the corner. Pete Peters falls down a little early there. It's it above him. Well, a bit of a shocker here early in the second period at the 25 second mark. Sweden goes ahead two to one. Four, but he couldn't get the shot away. And out for Sweden comes Thomas Gradin. Gradin is over the line, looking for the man in front. Took a shot. It's off a leg to Nelly. Right in front of the net. What a save is made by Peters. Now in against the board. That one with lightning quickness. From the faceoff, Robinson clears it down into the Swedish zone along the boards, up against the boards. Uh, Wilson unable to get loose. Uh, tangled up against the boards with Stan. It's back over the line. That drifting shot. Out there's Eldebrecht. Comes off the backboards. They score. Well, the Swedes are getting a few breaks here, a few bounces their way. What? He puck is shot in. And just inside the blue line. Right over the net, Pete Peters is down. The puck bounces off those boards like we talked about earlier. Larry tried to clear it. He hit the back of Peter and in the net. A few lucky breaks here for the Swedes. Put Canada in a hole. Well, it's Rodine, who I think will get credit for the goal. One minute and 43 by number three. Swing right at the number 19. Edge of the circle. Here's Coffey over now. The shot right into a crowd. Loose puck in front and it's popped free by the defense. A good move there by Elderbrink to clear it away and he's played a good game for Sweden. Around behind the net. Sundstrom to the side of the net. Gradine. Gradine out in front. Now there's the shot and it's hoisted over top of the net. Great chance there for Telbane. Now Canada. He brings it out over his own line to center ice. It's cleared in. Knocked down in front of the net. Now by Erickson in front of the net. Now Anderson. Loose in front. Gretzky shot it into the crowd. There's going to be a penalty call for tripping. Back out to the blue line for Gretzky. Gretzky through the legs of the receiver. Now over to Robinson. Robinson moving in deep to the side of the net. Under Robinson. Quick shot. Loose in front. Rolling puck. And it's cleared away by Nielsen down the ice. Two seconds, one second, that's the end of the power play. Ahead for Goulet, he splits the defense, goes to the net, drops it back for Gretzky. He's hooked as he tried to go in, and the puck winds up underneath the sprawling Peter Anderson in front of the net, and it's called for a face-off deep in the Swedish zone. I've been in 
impressed by the Swedes on the number of shots they've blocked tonight. Both the defensemen and the forwards. They seem to be getting a piece of the puck at all times. Well, we've got something going in the corner right now. Robinson right in the middle of all of that. So is Leon Stickle. And they're in a, Anderson is right there. But that's number 19 for Sweden. I don't know who else is involved. Well, tempers are getting a little short. Team Canada frustration. And now we've got the benches clearing. I have never seen this in an international hockey league. Look at Matt Snazlin put the clutch on Eiserman as he goes in. I have never seen the benches clear in an international hockey game. I'm sure it has happened before. But tempers are getting very, very short in this game. And it's been, Daryl, a very chippy kind of a game. The kind of game that would produce this sort of thing. Well, this has been the uh, roughest game I've seen Team Sweden ever play. They've been taking the body all night. They've been finishing their checks. They've been playing aggressive. And uh, Canada has been getting a little frustrated. They've had their chances to score. Things aren't bouncing their way and they're becoming more frustrated as the clock rolls down. And then he just couldn't get there, that puck before Sandstrom. Along the boards in this side, Wilson. Wilson out in front now. Here's Tonelli. The rebound. And it is covered up by Lindmark and he holds. Now Bourne pushing and shoving with Thomas Sandstrom. Bork, Bork. Loses it there as Naslin goes to the backhand. Shot, rebound. Naslin's still there, but Peters is too. And he covers it up. Bourne turning through center ice. Comes back now. Ducks pass, or at least tries to duck past Erickson. Now it's taken away again. Over the line now. Backhand shot by Bourne. And it's kicked away by Lindmark. Out comes Eldebrink at center ice. Carrying the puck for Sweden. He gets it over the line for Naslin. Eldebrink in front, and he's knocked down by Bourne. Now Naslin back in for Eldebrink. At the side of the net now. Eldebrink just standing back there. Gives it to Gustafsson. Back out to Naslin. Naslin shot. Knocked down by Peters. And the rebound comes to Sutter. Erickson back to Nielsen. To Erickson. Now here's the shot. It's right on. Cleared away. Nielsen turning. Nielsen checked on the play. Robinson. Robinson shooting it to the line, but he can't get it out. Erickson clears it in deep again. Dayan is there. Dan to Nielsen, to Erickson, Erickson shot, love save, Peters, he holds for the faceoff with 19 seconds remaining in the power play. Bork that long lead pass at center ice now, clear to head for Gretzky, Gretzky with Bossy moving in, a flip pass and it's deflected to Bossy. Bossy in against the boards, they try to work it out in front, Bossy's after it again. Bossy trying to cut through the traffic and has cleared out the center ice near the break, Stan going over the line now, Stan getting set to the side of the net, rolls it, it hit the line, the Swedes think they got a goal, out in front now here is the break, down over the line is Anderson, he shot it wide and he is knocked down on the play and there's going to be a penalty. Well, the Swedes are arguing that puck went into the net, the lake did not go on. Well, I want to see that one, it hit down on the line, that's as close as I could see, but I don't know whether... In fact, when I saw it, it, here it is. Let's take a look at it. Watch closely right at the line. Whoa. It's hard to tell there. Pete Peters had his pad in front of it. Whether or not it went over the line or not, you couldn't tell. Here's Team Canada coming back on a breakaway, and Sweden takes a hooking penalty on Anderson, who was in all alone. Canada argued for a penalty shot there. I, I cannot go along with a penalty Thomas shot. It was not quite as clear cut as two minutes for Canada hooking. would like. Well, Canada's had six okay. power play opportunities already. All right, watch the line now. Now you can't see there. Well, that's been the story in the game. Canada has had six opportunities for a power play on a power play and haven't scored. Here's a big chance to get back into the hockey game. There's only nine minutes and 52 seconds left. As Canada, that what prompted the Phil Esposito outburst, and then Canada moved on from there to win that series. Here's Coffee shot. It's right on. Into the corner it goes. The power play is on. Wilson back out to the point for Coffee. Anderson. Anderson to Wilson. Wilson looking for a man in front. Rebound in front. It's shot, and it's wide. Messier had the great chance, and he just missed the open side. The puck is cleared down the ice. They'll try and get it to Coffee. That quick two-way play. If they can make it, they do. It to Coffee. Over to the far side now for Gretzky. Gretzky. His shot into a crowd. He shot it high off Goulet. And against the boards, Goulet gets it again. He tries to tap it in front. Here's a shot. They Game. Paul Coffey just 
chipped it over the goaltender, but it was a nice, nicely thought out play. Coffee comes all the way in from the blue line. Watch where he comes in from. He sees the opportunity, bats it down, and just whacks at it. Bouncing puck. And he got, it looked like he got off the top of the handle or something, but it chipped it over top. We mentioned earlier how, how Lindbergh, Lindbergh goes down a little bit. There he drops to his knees. The puck just chips over into the net. Big goal for Team Canada. Are back on the ice, but Canada is still a man short now as Maslin works down to the line. Maslin finds some skating rope, goes in, and he's hooked from behind by Wilson. Puck rolls to the goal mouth, and is held there by Peters. And I'll tell you, Wilson could have got a penalty there. He could have. Maslin there, he's with all his speed, burst of speed got around him. And he gets it to Bossy. Bossy falls down. Wilson over the line, and it is shot wide of the net. In against the boards now. Robinson moves in, still loose inside the zone. Sweden with Sundstrom bringing it out to center ice. Messier's knocked down. No penalty. It sets up a two-on-one. The shot is wide. Robinson. Robinson at the side of the net. Wilson. Wilson and Gradin. They roll it in front. 49 seconds left as Wilson goes down. The puck is underneath him and we'll have a face-off deep in the Team Canada zone. Fork. Coffee. Coffee. Clearing it ahead now, Peters edging out of the net. The pass is for Gardner, breaks in, and is hooked away from him, and is cleared off the boards. And Peters was unable to get out of the net, and then alertly, up it to the side, they score! Well, Peters, I said, alertly left it and didn't touch the puck. And then suddenly, with a great deal of hustle, the Swedish forward got in there and put it into the empty net. Peter had the right idea. He wanted to... He called an icing so Canada would get a face-off in the other, the other end. The Team Canada defenseman, I don't know who it was, was a little lax at getting back. He got in his way. A good play by the Swedish forward to jump right on that puck. Well, here's a look at it. And that was Sundstrom, Peter Sundstrom getting in there. That reminds me so much of that goal that was scored with a second left in the 1980 Olympics by Mark Johnson against Vladislav Tretiak. And with this, Canada will have a total of three points. Will be in third place in the standings. Sweden in fourth place with two points. This will be their first win. Cleared into Sutter. Sutter in over the line. Now there's Tonelli shot. That's off a leg. And that's it. The hockey game is over. And Sweden has pulled a monumental upset over Team Canada. You have to look back to world championship play, and Canada, even in the world championships, has only lost four times to Sweden over the years. And here in the Canada Cup, Sweden has pulled off a big one. Four to two, the final score, Sweden over Canada.